SteelSeries make great mechanical keyboards, and the Apex M800 is supposed to be the best in its lineup, but with unconventional switches and a flat design, it's definitely not for everyone. The keyboard itself is built well, with a low profile that adds a few changes to the normal keyboard design. The space between sections combined with the number pad and column of macro keys results in a keyboard that's wider than most, and this can take some getting used to. Included in the box are some rubber feet to stop the keyboard sliding about, and replacement keys for Mac users. The back of the keyboard has two powered USB ports, where you can plug in a mouse or a headset. SteelSeries have also added space underneath the keyboard to hide cables and keep your setup clean. But, because of the USB ports, the keyboard needs two USB slots on your computer, which might be a problem for some. The M800 is a mechanical keyboard, but instead of using cherry switches, it uses SteelSeries' own switch called the QS1. These switches apparently make the M800 the world's fastest keyboard because of their short travel time. This is great for gaming and makes a much quieter sound than most mechanical keyboards, which is either a positive or a negative depending on your own tastes. Typing on the M800 is fast and comfortable with well spaced out keys, but the main focus of this keyboard is definitely on PC gaming. You can see SteelSeries attempts to join gamers through their Engine 3 software, which controls everything from the colour of the LEDs to complex macro combinations. Starting with the LEDs, SteelSeries offers some of the best customization on any keyboard currently on the market, which is one of their big selling points. It's easy to adjust and if you're feeling uninspired, the presets are honestly quite good. There's tons of light modes for each key like breathing, disco and toggle switches. Just to show off what they can do with the dual processor inside the keyboard, SteelSeries have also added Minesweeper and Snake, which you can play using the lights. The Engine 3 software features GameSense, which is a massive selling point for this keyboard. It basically uses the keyboard's LEDs almost as a second screen to help with gaming. So if you're playing Dota 2 for example, your ability keys can light up when they're available and then change colour during the cooldown period. The row of function keys turns into your health bar, which you can set to flash when you're close to dying, and the macro keys become your killstreaks. Of course, this is all completely changeable using SteelSeries' own Engine 3 software. This feature is great for MOBAs and RPGs which have tons of buttons and moves you need to be aware of, but for games like CSGO, GameTense isn't really that useful. The changing health bar sounds great, but in the middle of a gunfight you won't find yourself looking down at your keyboard when it's right there in the corner of your screen. That said, GameSense is still a great feature if you're looking to buy this keyboard for PC gaming. Functionally, the M800 has a column of macro keys which let you perform an entire sequence of actions in the press of one button. So if you wanted to open Spotify and make it start playing a certain playlist, you can program exactly that using SteelSeries software. And if you wanted to buy an AR, full armor and a frag grenade in CSGO with just one click, you could do that as well. The Apex M800 isn't perfect. For one, the huge spacebar might be better for gaming, but it looks really weird and isn't that great for typing. And then you have the short switches, which I think sound great, but the diehard mechanical fans won't appreciate their soft feel and reduced feedback. All of that aside, SteelSeries have made a great keyboard, and there's tons of attention to detail in the design, software, and functionality of the Apex M800. If you're in the market for a mechanical keyboard, this could be one to look out for.